this video you will learn how to use one inch dex aggregator. If you haven't used MetaMask before, make sure to watch our tutorial video first. Once you have MetaMask installed and configured, go to one inch .exchange and click on connect wallet in the top right. Accept terms of service and choose MetaMask. MetaMask will ask you to approve connection. Click on Next. Then click to connect. Once MetaMask is connected, you can disconnect it from the same window. Click on Close. Make yourself familiar with the user interface. To your left is a history of the price section. To your right is a trading section. If you scroll down, you will see the routing of your trade and the prices from different exchanges. In this example, I want to buy wrapped NXM for ETH. So I want to pay ETH and I want to receive NXM. Hence, I need to choose WNXM in the receiving section. Type WNXM and click on it. If your token is not on the list, you can use the plus sign up here and paste in the token address. But be careful and make sure that you don't use any fake addresses. Once you selected the assets and input the amounts, you can scroll a bit down to see the routing of your trade. In my case, it will go through Bancor. Before I initiate the trade, I can select between maximum return and lower gas cost. Maximum return means that one inch will use computationally expensive algorithm to find the best price possible. Lower gas cost means that one inch will use less sophisticated routing, but you will also save on the gas. Once you configured everything to your preferences, you can press on swap token. One inch will ask you to confirm the details of the swap. In my case, I am swapping one ETH to slightly over 30 WNXM. Here are the prices and the total transaction cost. Click on confirm swap. MetaMask will ask you to confirm the transaction. Make sure that you don't change gas limit here, otherwise your transaction will most likely fail. Besides the common asset swap, you can use a limit order, just like on a centralized exchange like Binance. To create a limit order, make sure that you click on limit on your trading section. I still have ETH and wrapped NXM in my asset pair. But now I can select the price and the expiration period. If I use the market order, I can buy around 30 rep NXM. But let's say I want to buy 40 NXM this time. And I will set my expiration period to 3 days. If the market goes my way, I will manage to buy 40 NXM at a discount. But before I can create the order, I need to unlock the assets. To do this, I will need to click on the lock icons. Here one inch will ask me whether I want to unlock just one ETH or I want infinite unlock. To make this selection between these options easy for you, if you plan to use one inch frequently, it's better to use infinite unlock. If you plan to use one inch just on occasion, unlock just the amount you need. One inch will ask me to confirm a transaction for unlock. Click confirm. Once the transaction is approved, you can open a limit order. Click to review it. Here you will see the details of your limit order and you can verify it. Some of the transactions will ask your signature. The signature actually is not a transaction, so it won't cost you anything. Click on sign. Scroll a bit down and you will see your open order under the active orders tab. Once your order gets executed, you can see it in the order history tab. If you want to cancel your limit order, click on the red cross here. Canceling an order is a transaction, so you will have to pay a gas fee for this one. Click on confirm. Now you know how to use one inch for limit and market orders. Thank you.